Hey guys, Gavin here again with you for another video and today I have a brand new episode of the Operator School series that I have here on the channel and this is going to be the first episode of the two new operators coming with Operation Wind Bastion. As of the recording of this video, the operators are now available to everybody to unlock including those who do not have season pass so I thought it would be a great time to have the Operator School videos for Nomad and Kaid. Today we're going to go over Nomad and if you are new to the series basically how it works is I go over each and every operator in Rainbow Six Siege and grade them on a scale of 1 to 10 in three different categories being weapons, gadget, and then versatility. And then lastly I give them a final overall grade and tell you why I think you should use them. I will be doing the operator school video for Kaid later this week so stay tuned for that but without further ado we're going to get right into Nomad. So Nomad is a Moroccan attacking operator that is a two armor, two speed, and she is part of the GIG RCTU and her gadget is the air jab, which essentially is a launcher that is attached to the rifle and it shoots an adhesive repulsion device that detonates by proximity. And as usual, we will get into the gadget a little bit later on in the video, but we're going to get right into the first category of weapons. So for weapons, I have given Nomad an 8 out of 10. I think she has a good selection of weapons to choose from if you're including her primaries and her secondaries, both some decent competitive options, but nothing crazy to write home about, nothing like an R4C or Twitch's F2 that will be kind of game-breaking or incredibly strong. At least that's when it comes to her primary weapons, which we are about to get into right now. We're going to go over both of them. The first one that I do want to talk about today is going to be the AK-74M. And this is going to be kind of the slower firing weapon that has a little bit more ammo and share a lot of characteristics as an AK would in many other games. If we take a look at the actual in-game stats of the AK, it does 44 damage has a fire rate of 650 rounds per minute, mobility 50, and then a 40 round mag capacity. So you will notice you have slightly more ammo than you would in a standard AR. And the recoil though, however, is quite a bit as you might expect with an AK. The main kind of strength of this weapon really comes down to the extra ammo that it has because if you do compare it to some of the other stats of the other weapon, the ARX, which I'll get into in just a bit, the AK doesn't really win in very many categories. So basically the main reason to use this weapon is for that extra ammo. As for how I like to run it personally would be with an ACOG and then add a compensator for that barrel attachment. You cannot put on any sort of grip attachment, so you're not really going to help decrease any extra recoil with a grip. But that's just kind of a basic overview of the AK. I think it's a fun gun to use, but really the main gun that you're going to want to go with is the ARX, which I'll get into right now. Taking a look at the actual in-game stats of the ARX, it does 47 damage, which you'll notice is a bit more than the AK. Then have a fire rate of 750 rounds per minute, the typical 50 mobility. However, it does have a smaller mag with only 20 rounds. So you will notice there is a pretty big difference in those two. You're going to have a faster, stronger weapon, but less ammo to work with. The gun does kind of remind me of a slower firing type 89. I kind of talked about it a little bit in a previous impressions video of Nomad. But just overall with the TTK, the ARX would be the more competitive option. You're just going to have that trade off with the amount of ammo you can use before you have to reload. The recoil on it isn't intense. I mean, it does have quite a bit of kick since it is a stronger faster firing weapon, but it is less than that AK, especially when it comes to that horizontal recoil. As for how I like to run this weapon, would be very similar to the AK with a ACOG and a compensator. Again, there is no grip attachment that you can use, so those are just the two attachments that I use. Now, I do want to cover Nomad Secondary just briefly because that is a big reason why her score goes up when it comes to the weapons because her secondary, which is the 44 mag, is a semi-auto pistol that has a scope on it and it essentially is a DMR. It's very strong. It does about 74 damage per shot, has eight shots in the magazine, and overall is just an incredible sidearm to have that acts almost as a primary. But now that we got the weapons out of the way, we're going to switch over and talk about Nomad's gadget. So for gadget, I have given Nomad only a 6 out of 10. I think upon the initial hype, I thought it was going to be a lot better. And in its first version during the test server, it was because it detonated 
instantly by proximity there was no timer on it where now essentially how the air jab works is you get three of them and you shoot them at a wall or something like that when they stick it takes one and a half seconds before it will actually be usable and honestly that was a pretty big change to nomad because essentially before she could be used as an entry fragger and was pretty much borderline op i guess it was a little early and might be hard to tell but i think right now it's in a pretty good place and isn't as crazy as it might seem you're not always going to have opportunities to use her gadget you're more so going to want to enter using something like the flashbangs or be a little bit more tactical when using nomad which i think that's kind of the intended purpose and it's just really good for flank watching she is the first trap operator that we're going to be seeing on attack and i think she can be incredibly useful for stopping flanks or just covering a doorway or something like that when you're trying to execute a plant or a push. And you have to be smart about where you're sticking her air jabs because if you put them in a place where the enemies can see them or notice the bright yellow trap on the wall, they will be able to shoot it and pretty much make it useless. Also, I think in terms of the effectiveness of the gadget and pushing the enemies back, I think it's pretty spot on in terms of balance because essentially if you have a direct line of sight of the enemy, it's gonna push them back for about a second or so, leaving them out of the gunfight where you can take them out or if a teammate has a line of sight on, you can take them out. However, if you're using it in kind of an aggressive manner and you hear it go off, you don't have that line of sight on the enemy, more times than not, they'll be able to get back up in time to engage with the gunfight. So honestly, I would say they did a pretty good job with that, but if you have noticed, she is pretty good paired up with claymores. It's kind of hard to execute. You need a good team to do it, but if you put a claymore out of reach from the enemy being able to shoot it and then have an air jab out of reach on a doorway or something like that, as soon as they get hit by the air jab, they can go into a claymore and pretty much is a guaranteed kill. But those happen very few and far between and is very difficult to coordinate. Overall, I think the idea of her gadget seems a little bit scarier than how it plays out in game. She's not necessarily a 100% must pick, but she can be good for that kind of strategy play and slowing down the aggression of the defenders. But now that we've covered her gadget, we're gonna move over and talk about her versatility. So for versatility, I have given Nomad a seven out of 10. I think there are definitely some times where her gadget isn't necessarily useful and you're just using her more for her weapons. She kind of takes some time to set up her gadget, but she does provide a lot of utility. She has a great set of weapons that allow her to play pretty much any range, as well as she is a perfect mix of two armor, two speed, and can have the option between flashbangs and breaches, which provide for a lot of different play. You can be more aggressive with the stun grenades, or you can use the breach charges simply for breaching walls, or use them in a way to kind of open up the ceiling and use kind of that vertical gameplay. So when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, the overall score and how the numbers play out, Nomad gets a perfect seven out of 10. I think that's very fitting for her. Maybe a little bit lower, you could give her like a 6.5 to seven, but based on the criteria I've given, it's a flat seven. I think she is a very good operator when it comes to strategy and being able to watch the flanks. And I think that can be very essential, especially when you're going up against a very aggressive defending team, which does happen a lot, especially in rank. So she can be very good in those kind of situations or just plant denial in general. If you're trying to have another angle covered and don't want to worry about it, you can put an air jab so you can hold some separate angle to keep an eye on the diffuser or just overall put the air jab near a diffuser to notify you when an enemy is nearby. She also definitely does provide a good bit of utility. She can burn ADSs with the flashbangs, allow for some vertical gameplay because of those breach charges, but overall isn't necessarily a must pick operator where you're always gonna need her. There are definitely situations, like I said before, where you're mostly gonna use her because of her weapon before you can get in and kind of set up those air jabs and be tactical with it. So overall, why I think you should use her would definitely be because of her pistol secondary. The ARX is pretty damn good and just being able to watch flanks and kind of provide some more strategy for your team. And with all of that said, that will pretty much wrap up this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate the support. Also, feel free to comment down below and let me know which operator you are liking more with Wind Bastion and maybe tell me a little bit why. Or I'm very curious to hear from you guys which primary weapon you like better with Nomad, the AK or the ARX. 
And lastly, if you are new to the channel, do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. I will be uploading the Kaid Operator School video later this week, so make sure you also hit that bell icon to turn on notifications for the next time I upload. As usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.